what is called, and first responders rush to the scene. That's the drill. Where there's an active shooter may only take a few minutes, though, for officers to arrive, but that's plenty of time for a gunman to kill or injure several people. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is joining us live from Northwest Mississippi Community College in Senatobia. Dominique, you shared some potentially life-saving tips at five, but what more can people do? Well, let's say the shooter is no longer a threat, but there are people around you have who have and you're waiting on paramedics to arrive. Well, you can render aid by packing a wound or applying a tourniquet. We're putting this high and tight. Mass shootings happen so frequently in America, many people know what to do if confronted by an active shooter. A lot of places are talking about the avoid to not offend or the run, hide, fight, but we also need to start talking about medical treatments that we can do. Northwest Mississippi Community College police officer Alex Coker teaches active shooter drill classes. He's also worked for three decades in the military and law enforcement, including training educators on school safety. He talked to us about the need to help the wounded quickly. 60% of preventable deaths are caused from major hemorrhaging. Coker says anyone can apply a tourniquet. Wrap it high and tight around whichever limb is bleeding. Sit there and take a locking mechanism. This is windless. I'm going to crank it down until the flow of blood stops. And if you don't have one on you at the time, use what you do have. For example, a shirt. It's fine. That hole right there. I'm going to slide it over his leg. He's going to pull it up. Remember, high and tight, right? Once I have it tied tight, I'm just going to take his shoe off. All right. Once I take that shoe, I'm just going to put that shoe in just like that. And I'm just going to start turning and turning. Simple medical procedures that could mean the difference between life and death. It's an incident in Texas. They said uh, the gunman was in there approximately you know, two to three minutes. And there was a lot of damage that was done in that short amount of time. And people need to know how to react on their own even before you know, law enforcement arrives. And Northwest Mississippi Community College offers active shooter training as well as medical response training. If you're interested in that, visit our website at fox13memphis.com. There we'll have a link to the information. Reporting in DeSoto County, Dominique Dillon, Fox 13 News. And you know, Dominique, thank you so much for your report. That's Fox 13's Dominique Dillon reporting. The thing about this is there are plenty of videos as well from credible teachers on YouTube. You don't have to go to a class. Classes are great. They're the best. But yeah. you can also do this uh, on your very own. Learn it at the very least. You know the past